Well, you need to, Rosa, try shutting off and restarting, see what happens. You know what I mean? Because if you can't see what I'm doing, it's not. If you could just hear me, it's not going to help you. You know. Do that. We'll see how you get. Okay. All right. So we're going to talk about the system of equations by via um, substitution. Okay. So remember the system of equations. We're going to find two lines. Where do they intersect? Where do those two lines intersect? Like my fingers. Flink. 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 But we're not going to graph now. We're just going to look at the, the equations, okay? We're just going to look at the equations. So here's how we're going to do this. Let's understand what substitution is first, right? What is substitution? Substitution means I can replace something with something else. I can substitute it, right? If, if, if I'm sick as the teacher, they can stick a substitute in place of me, right? And you're supposed to be a teacher that teaches you know, is in place of me, takes my place. Well, we're gonna have to find something if something takes place, we have to show where, what is equal to what, right? So if I said here, seven plus X equals 10. Well, then we can say X equals three, right? Because seven plus three. So now I can, now this is saying X is equal to three. So wherever there's an X, I can replace it with three. So instead of seven plus X equals 10, this tells me instead of an X, I can substitute it with three, right? So I can use substitution. I can replace it. Now, when we are solving for the system of equations using substitution, Actually, let's let's look at oh before I forget. Sorry, I'm I'm going all over the place. But tomorrow is a minimum day. Do we all understand that? Tomorrow is a minimum day. All right. Um, Crystal Magallanes, what did I just say? Tomorrow's a minimum day. Very good. Uh, Edgar Mejia, what did I just say? Tomorrow's a minimum day. That's right. Okay, so let's just, I know you guys all know this, but I, I personally always forget the minimum day schedule. So I'm going to send you a picture of the minimum day schedule just oh. so I can remember. Oxnard High School. There's my Oxnard High School page. Let's look at the bell schedule. And if you guys need the minimum day schedule, not that one, regular collaboration, minimum day. There's our schedule. So tomorrow we start at 938. So those of you who don't have first period need to come to school. 938. Like I got to be at school early. 938. Okay. Is when class starts at 938. So be here. So if you had, if you show up at 1008, you're going to miss half the class. Right. I know that's going to happen, but go ahead and take a picture of that. Tomorrow is a minimum day. I'm going to get rid of this in 10 seconds. Tomorrow is a minimum day. Okay. I got my, my Little Pony I'm looking up here. Um, okay, so... What is our lesson for today? Here's our lesson. We're doing 227, 1 through 17. We're going to do this today and tomorrow. By the way, did you guys your check your understanding yesterday? Page 227, 1 through 17, odd. Did you guys do your check your understanding test yesterday? I should look to see who actually did it or didn't do it. Okay. So... Oh, look at those clowns. So let's look at an example here. Okay. Um, I'm trying to find a good problem. Okay, so I have, I have two. Let's do one example. 
And I'll show you how it works. I have x plus y. I'm going to write this down equals negative 7. I'm going to, I'm, I know you can't see my screen right now. And I have, uh, let me put some more room right here. x plus y equals the negative 7. And I have negative 5x plus y equals 5. Okay, I'm, I'm coming back. Hopefully you can see my board here. Okay, can you guys see my board? Close my presentation. I, yeah, I shouldn't be frozen now. Am I frozen now, Daniel? I was, I was, look, I was posting my screen. Am I frozen now, Daniel? Daniel's not talking. Daniel, come on, man. Daniel, Mejia. Oh no, you said okay. I didn't see it. Okay, good. So whenever I present, it usually freezes. I don't know why my computer does that. Okay, so this is just an example problem. Okay, so I have, this is going to be a line. It's going to be a line going wherever, which way, right? So it goes like this. That's my black line. And this is my red line. And we have to figure out. Where do they intersect, okay? You don't need to draw that, but this is the idea we're trying to do, right? Without graphing it. Okay, so I'm going to erase this. Now, we're going to use substitution. Now, with substitution, listen very carefully. Listen very carefully. Those of you who are not like you're eating or whatever, just stop and listen. This is not going to make sense that you understand this. You must have it equal to an x or a y. In order to solve this, one of these equations has to be equal to an x or a y. Neither of these are equal to an x or a y. Look at this is x plus y equals negative 7. It's, it's not the y. The x or the y has to be by itself. This is negative 5x plus y equals 5. So what I have to do is get one of them by itself. I'm going to use this black one here because it'll be easy to get the X or the Y, make it equal to the X or the Y. Now, you see that black there? I can make it either equal to X or equal to Y. It doesn't matter. I just have to get one of them by itself. So I'm going to ask, um, Edith, what should it be? Should I set this equal to X or Y? Y. Okay, could I? Could we have done X? Yes, Edith chose Y, so I'm gonna make this equal to Y. So I'm gonna rewrite it here, X plus Y equals negative seven. Edith said equal to Y, I could have done equal to X. So in order to do this, I wanna get rid of this X. So what do I do? How do I get rid of this X? You guys should know how to do this. How do I get rid of that X, Antonio? Antonio, you're muted. What happened? What happened? Why are you asking me what happened? It sounds no I, Can you hear? Can you hear I me, Antonio? Can you hear me, Antonio? Yeah, but there's a lot of noise right now. All right. How long is that noise going to be going on for? Like a, a minute or two. Okay, I'll come back to you then. Okay, Abigail, how do I get rid of this X? I'm thinking. Let me hold on. I'm going to say subtract seven on both sides. Or no, no. You want to get well. If you subtract seven, I won't get rid of the x. I'll get put a negative seven here. I want to get rid of this x. So hang on a second, Abigail. I'll get back to you. Okay, Angelina Rodriguez. How do I get rid of this x?
Um, you go seven. You put the oh. X under the seven? Yeah. How do I do that, though? All right. Let's see. Antonio, do you still have that noise? Angelina, I'll get back to you. Abigail, I'll get back no. to you. It's stopped Okay. Now. Hey, I want to get a Y by itself and get rid of the X. How do I get rid of this X, Antonio? You subtract uh, X with X. Yes, okay. Angelina, do you see that? This is an X. What do I do? I subtract X. I get rid of it, right? Does that make sense, Angelina, or no? Does that not make sense? Yeah, it does. Okay, Abigail, does that make sense to you or no? It kind of makes sense. I'm still just trying to process it. So think of it this way. Think of this as 1x. If I have 1x, how do I get rid of 1x? Well, I'm going to take an x away. So you just get rid um, Think of this if I have, I don't know. Anyway, just think of that. Do you take away 1x? Whatever I do on the left, I take away on the right. I take away 1x over here. Take away 1x. Take, I just put 1x. Just put an x. So now this goes away. It becomes 0, and it becomes y equals negative x minus 7. Now I have y equals. I have it equal to y. Now I can use substitution. So I'm changing this equation to y equals negative x minus 7. So this now equals this. Okay? They equal. Okay? Now I have it equal. It's equal to y. Remember, you can only use substitution. You can only use substitution if one of the equations is equal to x or equal to y. Okay, so that's what I did here. This is now equal to y. y equals negative x minus 7. Now, because of this, I can replace. See, I have this y here. Let's rewrite this equation. Let's rewrite the red. Negative 5x plus, now instead of y, I'm going to leave it blank, equals 5. Now, because I set this equal to y, this is saying y is equal to negative x minus 7. <coughs> so now I can replace my y. What can I replace my y with? What can I replace my y with, Noel? We're never going to get through this class if people can get. Noel, look here. Keep your microphone on. What letter was here before? What letter? Noel? Y. Y, right? Okay. So, what is we? Noel, can you hear me? Yeah, but you're lagging. What is y equal to, Noel? Uh, x. Is it equal to x? Look here. Y is equal to what? Can you see this here or no? Negative x minus 7. Yes. Y. Is, so instead of y, y is equal to negative x minus 7. So I can put in here negative x minus 7. Everyone do that. Everyone do that. Am I lagging? Octavio, am I lagging? Can you see me? I can see you. Okay. Quinlan, am I lagging? Quinlan! Rosie Serato, am I lagging? Um, not really. It's just the, the lighting, like where you're at, it's kind of making the board like really wet and you can't see the writing. Oh, shoot, really? Hmm. Should have brought my camera. See what it looks like. Uh, oh, because of the red. I think you can't see the red, right? 
Next time I'll change the red. But like sometimes the board just like gets lighter and then it blocks out the writing. All right. Well, maybe if I get out of the way. Okay. So instead of negative 5x plus y equals 5, I say now negative 5x plus negative x minus 7 equals 5. I replace the y with negative x minus 7. And now I can just go ahead and solve for x, okay? Now we're trying to find the point of intersection here. So let's go like this. Let's rewrite. I'm rewriting in blocks so you can see better. Negative 5x plus negative x minus 7, I don't need the parentheses there, equals 5. So now let's combine our x's, because it's the same sign equal sign. Negative 5x minus 1x. Remember, they're the same sign, so I add. So I have 5x's and 1x's. How many x's do I have? I have negative 6x minus 7 equals 5. Okay? Negative 6x Minus seven because negative five x plus negative one x is negative six x, and then we can just go ahead and solve it. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep solving it. I'm solving for x, so I got to get rid of the negative seven first. We've done this many times. I add seven, add seven on both sides. Negative six x equals five plus seven is twelve. And then negative 6x times x, I divide by negative 6. Remember, if you're multiplying by negative 6, you divide by negative 6. And x equals negative 2. Remember, we're trying to find out where they intersect. So I know. Yeah, Abigail. I'm sorry, can you move the camera down just a little bit? I can't see the bottom. Thank you. There you go. Okay, so now I have my x, and I take my negative 2, and I can plug it back into either one of these equations. x is equal to negative 2. So let's plug it into here. Instead of negative 5 times x plus y equals 5, I'm going to plug my x into here, and x is equal to negative 2, and instead of x, I'm going to put negative 2 and say negative 5 times negative 2 is positive 10 plus y equals 5, right? So now I just replace the x with the 2, and now I'll be able to solve for the y. And to solve for the y, what I'm going to do, let's erase this right here. I just need to get y by itself. I have a 10 here. I am going to take away 10. I'm going to say y equals 5 minus 10, different signs, so I subtract. 5 minus 10 is 5, because I have more negatives, it's negative 5. y equals negative 5. So my answer is this. x equals negative 2, y equals negative 5. And my answer, written the point of intersection, is going to be negative 2 comma negative 5. Okay, that's the answer. That's where the two lines are going to intersect. Mary Sanchez? Yeah. Could you move the camera to uh, the right, please? Let's see. I'm going to move it to the right. This way. This way. Is that better? Yeah, thank you. Okay. Anyway, 
I think that's really hard to do. We're going to do a whole bunch more. We're going to do it today and tomorrow. That's all we're going to do. Okay? So if you kind of got it, you're doing great. If you have no idea, that's okay. We're going to do more. Okay, this is very important right now. Right? Okay, I'm going to raise your hand if you need more. Are there any questions on this? Okay. Now, this is very important for me. Listen. Raise your hand if you kind of understand or you totally understand. If you don't understand, don't raise your hand. I need to see how many of you at least kind of understand. If you don't understand, don't raise your hand because I need to keep moving. I need to figure this out. Okay. So that's what I expect. It's okay if you don't. We're going to keep going here, okay? Let's do let's go to the homework. Okay. Now, the first few problems are kind of easy. Not not easy, but not much problem solving. Okay, so 3, 5 and 7. I don't want to spend too much time on these. Okay, I'm going to write it down. Now remember, let's see if we can write a couple. I'm just writing a couple. I'm writing these down. Number three, I have x plus 4y equals 30, and I have x minus 2y equals 0. I'm just writing number 3 down, and I'm writing number 5 down. I'll let you guys do 7. These you don't have to calculate too much. 5x plus 3y equals 11. And then 5x minus y equals 5. Okay, here's the question. Your camera is frozen. I know. I hang on. Thank you. Thank you so much for telling me that my camera's frozen. I'm glad you guys are. But that was on purpose because I was writing things down. Am I frozen now? Hopefully I'm not frozen now. Am I good? All right, thank you. Thank you, Italia. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to looking at the problem. We're gonna I'm gonna freeze it again. We're gonna go back. I wanna look at the question, what they're asking. Okay. So look here. In exercise three through eight, tell which equation you would choose to solve for one of the variables. Explain. Okay. So what it's saying is like looking at this one here, and I'm going to go to my board just a second. Number three. I try to highlight it. Ignore four. Which one is easy to set it equal? Remember, it has to be equal to X or equal to Y. Either one. So which one would make it easy to make it equal to X or equal to Y? It's not equal to X yet or equal to Y. But which one of these would it be this one? Would this be set equal to X or Y? Or would you use this one? Which one would you use? Okay, so I'm coming back here. Now I'm back. I'm back. So here we go. Number three, I have it written here. Can you guys see this, hopefully? Which one of these would be, look, I'll call this one A, this equation A, this equation B. Which one would be easy to set equal to X or Y? It would be easy to get it X equals or Y equals. So which one would be easiest to do? do um let's go elias elias i'm marking you absent if i don't hear from you okay uh, uh can you can you oh, say that again? there you are because you like froze okay which one of these would be equal to x or equal to y which one would be easy to make it x or y by itself give it a guess 
Uh, I don't know. B? A or B? A or B? B. Good. Why do you say that? I just guessed. Okay. Well, hey, look at how – see how the X is almost by itself? Yeah. You just have to get, get rid of the 2Y. B would work. And then this one would also work because, look, X is almost by itself. So this would work too. Okay, very good, Elias. Okay, let's go with um, Edgar Mejia. Let's look at number five. Edgar, are you there? Yeah. Okay, which one would be easy to get X or Y by itself, A or B? B. Yes, Y. Uh, I just guessed. Do you see? Is he see how the X has the five next to it? Yeah. And this one, the X is the five, and the Y is the three. Well, look, yeah. this one just has the Y by itself, so this would be easy to get Y. But see how the Y is almost by itself here? Yeah. It'd be easy to get this one by itself. That's all it's asking. Which one would be easy to get the Y by itself or the X by itself? Well, this one, the Y is almost by itself, so it would be B. This one, the X is already almost by itself, so B would work also. But this one, X is also almost by itself. That's all they're asking. Okay, I'm moving on. So, and you guys, I mean, you could see, like, let's look at the, if you look at number seven, look here. Which one would be easier to buy itself? Well, look at this equation here. See how the X is, this X has a four next to it. This Y has a 3 next to it, so it would be hard to get the X or Y by itself. But look at this one. This X is already mostly by itself. So I would use this one to get the X by itself. So that's 7. Okay. All right. Here we go. Let's solve a couple of these equations. Here we go. Number 9. Okay. I know I'm frozen. I'm frozen. I'm going to fix it. Just a second. We're doing 9 together. We're going to just do a couple of problems here, okay? Number nine. Hopefully you can see my green. I don't know where my blue pen went. I had a blue pen. I had a perfectly good blue pen. Okay, I'm doing number nine. I have two equations here. Nine. I have... X equals 17... Minus 4y, and then I have y equals x minus 2. Hopefully my green will show up good. y equals x minus 2. Okay. Now, I have, I'm not frozen now. Okay, here we go. Okay, you can see x equals y equals these are great for substitution i have x equals y equals so what i'm going to do so this is y equals well i'm going to take this the way i like it is i am going to take this y i'm going to take it's equal to x minus two and because this is equal to y i'm going to take it and put it right in there because it's equal to y. So I can change that y into x minus 2. So let's go ahead and do that. Can you put the camera up? Oh, shoot. Go up. Okay. Can you see it now? I'll, I'll repeat what I said. I'll, I'll give you a second to write the equations out. Thank you, Angelina, for letting me know. But the camera was not all the way. Okay. So notice how y is equal to x minus 2 here, right? Um, Naomi, can you see this here? Naomi? I have to zoom in, but yeah, I can kind of see it. Oh, you, you have to zoom in? Do you have me pinned? 
No. Oh, pin me up. That'll probably help. Okay. No. So y is equal to x minus 2. That means wherever there's a y, I can plug in x minus 2. So I see this y here. I'm going to replace this with x minus 2. So let's rewrite this equation. x equals 17 minus 4. And instead of the y, what am I going to put there for the y? See if you're paying attention. Olivia, what am I going to put here instead of y? Um, negative 2. I'm going to put in what? Look here. Can you see this? Oh, x minus 2. Y is equal to x minus 2. Boom. Now we can solve it by using substitution. Remember, I have to solve for the x, and then i got to go back and solve for the y. Okay, so let's solve it. X equals 17 minus, oh, 17 minus. Okay, so now I can multiply negative 4 times X. That becomes negative 4X. Now this is multiplication, negative 4 times X minus 2. Multiply negative 4 times 2 is plus 8. And now, because these are on the same sign, I'm going to add 17 and 8. I can add these because they're the same. 17 plus 8, 25. So now, I have two x's. So let's get rid of this x. Negative 4x. See if anyone can figure out how to get rid of that. Nick, minus 4x. How do I get rid of that minus 4x? Nicholas, how do I get rid of this minus 4x here? It's by dividing. No, it's a minus 4x. Or adding. Add 4x, right? I have minus 4x. You got to get rid of the whole thing. I'm going to add 4x. I'm going to add 4x over here. I have 1x. I have four X's. How many X's do I have? One X plus four X. Uh, Daniel Mejia, write in the chat. What's one X plus four X? Oh, yeah, I'm waiting for you in the chat. What did you write, Daniel? Five X. Very good. Five X equals 25, and then I divide by 5, I get x equals 5. should have you guys try solving that. So x equals 5. Can you guys see that down there? Or is that too low? We should put the camera back a little bit. Leotali, can you see this five, x equals 5 down here? Yeah. All right, cool. So now I'm going to take this and plug it in here. X, instead of X, I'm going to put 5. So I'm going to write it over here since I have room. So saying Y equals X minus 2. Well, X equals 5. So let's plug the X in here. And you guys tell me. So we'll say Y equals x minus 2. So instead of x, we're going to put in 5. You guys tell me what is y equal. What is y equal? All right, let's go with um. I got Daniel I'm trying to figure out who to call. Who I haven't called. Oh, let's call the the, the non-camera people. Alberto, what is y equal to? Alberto, Alberto, I want to mark you absent. Yes, One. I'm here. Yeah, I'm going to take yourself. Are you playing video games? No. 
Okay, good. What is y equal to? Uh, I'm not sure. Look. Five minus two, Alberto. Five minus two. Three. Thank you. Alberto, your voice changed. Hey, Larsa, do you know five minus two is three? Alberto, can you hear me? Yes. Do you know five minus two is three? Yes. All right, very good. So you guys, our answer is x equals five, y equals three, the point of intersection is five comma three. Now look at what we did. We took these two equations, we plugged them in, we solved for x, got x equals five, and then we plugged five into this equation. I can plug it in this equation too, and I got three. Okay, we're gonna do one more, and then we'll be done. Are there any questions on that? I'm gonna do one more. No questions? Okay, raise your hand if you, I, I still understanding it since I don't understand all the way, but I'm getting better. Okay. No? I only see if, I feel like I see less hands. Maybe I confused you even more. I'm gonna erase this. That's okay, this is hard stuff, but I still expect you to know how to do it. This is, this is kind of, this is difficult stuff, you know? But we're gonna keep doing it. Number 11, we're gonna stop at 11, okay? Number 11, let's take a look at 11. What is 11 asking? We have to find the point of intersection, the system of equations. I'm gonna freeze here, so hang on, don't be patient with me. I'm gonna freeze, because my camera just does that. Okay, number 11, I have, x equals 16 minus 4y and then where's my green pen there it is i have 3x i know i'm frozen 3x plus 4y equals 8. okay i'm gonna unfreeze we have to figure out what, where these intersect, okay? Now remember, can you guys see this okay? Can you see these two equations up here? Italia, okay, Italia, thank you, Italia. Give me a thumbs up, thank you, Italia. So this and this, we wanna combine them. Do I have one of them equal to X or Y? Is one of these equal to X or Y, Noel? Are one of those equations look good as far as being equal to X or Y? My bad, I can't really hear you. Are one of these equations equal to X or Y? Which ones? I don't know, it's one of them. Look at, look at this black one here. See how it's X equals? This what was one's your equal question? Well, I was saying, do you, I, it's not a question anymore. Do you see how this is equal to X? Yeah. Okay, cool. That's what we want. So that means I could take this and replace it. Everyone look here, see how this is equal to X? Well, look, I can take this and it's equal to X. I can take it and plop it right in there. Okay? So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna rewrite this green equation, three, and instead of X, I'm gonna put a blank plus four Y equals eight. What do I put in there? That's the question. What do I, I just said it, but what do I put in there? Okay. Uh, David Guzman, what do I put in here? Oh, that was on me. Uh, you put 16? <laughs> Not 16, dude. Look at this whole thing. Look at the box. Oh, uh, 16 minus 4y? Yeah, because that's what's equal to x, right? Instead of x, I put this. Very good. 16 minus 4y. Plug that in. 
Now we just solve. We've done solving many, 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 many times. If you're still having trouble solving, that's okay, but you got to keep practicing it, guys. You got to keep practicing. Got to practice it, right? So here we go. Solve. Three inside the parentheses. So I go three times 16, three times four. What is three times 16? Eight, one, 48. Three times 16 is 48. Three times four is 12 Y. Three times 16 is 48. Three times four is 12 Y plus four Y equals eight. So now I have negative 12 Y plus four Y. So you add these up. We're going to solve for y. Notice there are different signs, so I really subtract, right? Different signs, so I subtract. 48, 12 minus 4 is 8, right? Negative 8y. So I got more minuses. Equals 8. Then we just solve for y. I'll give you guys, go solve for Y, finish it, solve for Y. You guys should be able to finish that. I'm going to call on someone whose camera is not working, I think. We'll see how I feel. Call on someone whose camera is not working, the not camera working group. So if your camera is off, I am calling on you. Woo! That's right. I am calling on you if your camera is off. All right. All right, what is y equal to? Let's go with uh, Leilani Mendoza. Leilani Mendoza, I'm marking you absent. I'm here for you, going once. So I want to get she out of here. She can't use her mic. Huh? She said she can't use her mic. She's well, tell me what the answer is. Let's see. Oh, I'm at school, right? Oh, in a tent. Oh, really? Oh, I'm sorry. That's my fault. But Y equals five. Leilani, you are correct. Sorry, I did not see that. You are correct, Leilani. I don't want you to disturb everyone else. Leilani is right. Y equals five. And I'm looking, I'm missing my pen here. So Leilani said what she did was, right? I subtract 48 and 8 minus 48. They're different signs. Negative 40. You subtract, but you have more negatives. Divide by negative 8. And negative divided by negative is a positive. Raise your hand if you got y equals 5. I got y equals 5. Nice. So then I take the 5 and I'm going to plug it. Let's plug it in. I think it'll be nice in this equation here. Plug the 5 in there. So I'm going to say... Three X plus four equals eight. Instead of X, I plug in five. So I'm gonna say three X plus 20 equals eight. Go ahead and solve for X. Go ahead and solve for X. I'm gonna call on you. Should I call on a no camera person again? Feel like I should. No camera. And then we'll be done. Someone can get this right. We'll be done. Remember, tomorrow is a minimum day. I'll be there tomorrow. All right, 
I'm going to call in a no camera person. Let's go with Devin Solis. What'd you get, Devin Solis? No cameraman. Devin, are you there? Go, go on one. What I get for what? Huh? What I get for what? What are you talking about? Dude, what have you been doing? I've been we're doing this problem this whole time. No, I thought we were doing like the, the one where you got uh like you minus eight to forty eight or you minus forty eight. We're solving this, homie. I can't see that. What? What do you mean you can't see it? What do you see? Describe to me what you see. Uh, do you see I, me? Can you see my face yeah, right I, now? Oh. Yeah, I can see you. Is it because it's green? Yeah, it's because it's I like I can see the numbers, but I can't see it. Can you see this? You see that? Yeah, I can see that. All right, solve that, homie. Austin, what'd you uh, get? Well, Devin, huh? X or X equals negative four. Oh yes, good job, Devin. Wait a dude. Why did I even doubt you, Devin? Why did I even do that? You know what I mean? You know how to do this stuff, right, Devin? Yes. Yeah, divide by three, x equals negative four. So my answer is negative four comma five. That's where they intersect. So remember, we take this, we plug it in there, we rewrite it, we solve for y, we take the y, we plug it back into this. We can plug it into this equation if we want to. It doesn't matter which equation we do. Plug it back in here. Plug it in there. Solve for x. And then put the x and the y. And that's your point of intersection. We're going to do more of this tomorrow. Raise your hand if you didn't like it. It was so hard, Sensei. I did not like this. Raise your hand. I didn't like it, Sensei. It was so hard. All right. Raise your hand, Sensei. I don't mind it. I don't mind it, Sensei. Okay. Raise your hand if you'd rather be at Disneyland right now. I'd rather be at Disneyland than doing math right now. Hopefully Disneyland will open. Right? I don't even know if it's open. Is Disneyland open? Magic Mountain's open. I heard Magic Mountain's open. You got to wait in line. They got to clean everything up. So pre-COVID Disneyland, I guess I should say. Or watching... Godzilla fighting Kong, you know what I mean? Godzilla fighting Kong. Okay, that's all I have to say for today. I will be at school tomorrow, but I got a question for you. Let's see who knows this, because I don't know. What time does period two start tomorrow? Antonio, what time does period two start tomorrow? 9.38. Noel, wait, just be strong. 9.38. Tomorrow, be here at 9:38. Do not be late because we got to do some more of these problems here. We're gonna, even though they they're hard, and some of you think, "Oh, this sucks." We're just gonna keep doing it, get better, right? Keep practicing. All right. Listen, I love you guys. You guys are already saying bye. I love you guys. You guys have a good day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, Rosa. Bye, bye Angelina. Bye, David. Bye, Edgar. Bye, Edith. Bye, Crystal. Bye, Octavio. Bye, Antonio. Bye, Le Leitali. Bye, Olivia. Bye, Leilani. Bye, Elias. Bye, Quinlan. Bye, Angelina. Lou. Bye, Rosie. Bye, Abigail. Bye, Nicholas. All right. Questions. Devin, you have a question? No. Chris, I am put the call. No, oh, Chris. Italia, what's up? That stuff that we were doing yesterday, are we still going to do that? Like the graphing, I think. Yes, absolutely. We're going to have a test on it at the end of next week. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like this is the same thing, it's just we're not graphing. Oh. Did you like this that we did? Uh, yeah. It's okay if you didn't. My feelings won't be hurt. Just like one more day of it, and I'll probably get the hang of it. Well, that's yeah. It's hard. And then then we're gonna get elimination. That's gonna be hard too. But anyway. Yeah.
Hey, this cool article. I read that article about uh, Mother Teresa. I've heard that about her. This is interesting. Yeah. Anyway. All right. Do you have any other questions? No. Have a nice day. All right. You too. Crystal, are you there? Crystal, I am put the call. Are you there?